looks like people have started joining us. Uh, thank you, Richa. Thank you, Arpita, for joining. So you are not, uh, Ravi, you are not able to see my screen as of, uh, so far, right? No, we can't see your screen right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So once I will start sharing, I will. Maybe let's wait for uh, one or two minutes more. Right. Yeah, sure. more people now. Okay. All right. Let's wait for a couple of more minutes, Abhigya. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, people are still onboarding. I hope everyone is able to hear me. Uh, can somebody raise hand by confirming that? Thanks, Gulshan. Thanks, Arpita. Thanks, Richa. So we'll begin dot at 10 5. Sure. I think, uh... One more minute to go.
All right, I think we are good to start now. Uh, maybe if somebody wants to join in, they can join in later. Uh, sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening, good morning, good day, wherever you are on this earth, depending on that. Uh, I welcome all of you to another scintillating webinar presented by Noldas. This webinar is on Pentao platform introduction, particularly Pentao data integration. We will be focusing more on the Pentao data integration part in this session. I'm again repeating Pentao data integration part in this session. We will also come up with uh, more sessions on Pentao in the future, particularly targeting all other aspects of Pentao like Pentao BI suits and other areas. Before we jump into the session, guys, uh, let me introduce myself to all of you. I am Ravinder Dua. I am a seasoned IT professional with more than two decades of experience in the IT industry. I have worked for multiple domains like high tech, insurance, telecommunication, manufacturing, HRMS, education, and are quite a few. Uh, I have worked on multiple enterprise technologies also. Uh, and also played various roles in my career from developer to architect, from technical manager to delivery manager, account manager, and practice set. I have helped various customers in improving their business performances with the help of technology. I'm currently working as senior vice president in Noldus and also the Java practice head, head in Noldus. I think this should be enough about me. Uh, we are here to learn Pentao, not about me. Uh, I have Abhigya Saxena with me. Uh, I would request Abhigya now to introduce himself before we start the session. Over to you, Abhigya. Hey, thanks, Ravindra. Uh, before I start my introduction, I would like to get confirmation if you all, guy, uh, all are able to see this, see my screen. So uh, please raise hand if someone is not able to see. So, so, so Gulsan, you are able to see right <laughs> yeah the Gulshan was saying that uh, okay. he's able to see right Gulshan now you can raise the hand if you're able to see <laughs> yes perfect 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 so uh, okay, great. Yeah, so thanks Ravindra again giving me opportunity to introduce myself. So uh, uh, pronunciation of my name is Abhigya Saxena and I spent almost 20 years in software development in, uh, industry and during entire uh, career I was always connected to Java technology and technology is falling in Java family as family. So uh, uh, my uh, circumference is, uh, is uh, was with respect to Java only uh, and there are other technology I have touched but uh, not dominating to uh, in Java. Cur currently I'm leading practice for Java framework in Noldus and enjoying technology here as well. Uh, in Noldus I'm working as AVP and I'm uh, associated with a, a UKG client uh, as of now. This is very brief introduction of mine. And if you if you uh, want to know uh, uh, more, uh, more about me, you are uh, happy uh, happy to question me during question and answer session. And I will uh, I'll, I'll really happy to answer those question uh, with respect to all the professional related query uh, queries. So this is something uh, with respect to me. I would uh, I'll forward. Uh, uh, to Ravindra with uh, to so that he can uh, explain about Noldus. Yeah, Ravindra, Thanks, over to you. Thanks, yeah, good to know that attendance of this webinar is increasing now. So before we start learning about Pentaho, let me help all of you to know about Noldus. I'm sure some of you might have already heard about Noldus, but for those who do not know what Noldus is, Noldus is a technology consulting company with focus on modernizing the digital ecosystems of our customers. Noldus is one of the world's largest team of functional programming and fast data engineers. We have a bunch of those people uh, not available in any other company. Noldus is a team of passionate technologists with the product mindset. The engineers at Noldus works along with businesses to deliver solutions at the speed of competitive advantage to the businesses. Our main capabilities are around reactive products, IoT, microservices, data science, data engineering, DevOps, functional programming, etc. We also have our strategic partnerships with various other industry leaders in different domains like Databricks, Lightband, Confluent, and many more. By the way, Noldus is much more than that, what is mentioned in this slide, but I believe this is good for now. 
to start with. Uh, if you have any questions on Noldus, again, like in the question answer session, we can take up that. Uh, again, before I go ahead and talk about uh, what is there in this uh, session on Pentaho data integrations, just would like to know if any one of you have heard about Pentaho earlier. Maybe they can raise their hand if they have heard about Pentaho. Okay, so looks like most of you have not heard about uh, Pentaho. So that means certainly there will be something to learn for you guys. Uh, so before, uh, start, uh, without wasting uh, more time on like what is what what is this session about? Let's begin the session. So Abhigya will be helping you getting into deep on what Pentaho is quickly, and then particularly we'll be focusing on Pentaho data integration. Thank you everyone for joining in. Uh, Abhigya will be helping you to run this webinar for the rest of the uh, session. Over to you, Abhigya. Thank you, thank you, Ravindra. Yeah. So uh, for uh, during next uh, one hour, we are we are going. To, uh, sorry. Uh, this is this is something what we are going uh, going to uh, touch uh, during this session. So initially, what is Penta? Uh, what is Pentaho? In in that in 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 this slide, we, I, I will cover uh, the the universe of Pen, uh, Pentaho. What exactly holistically Pentaho is, but it is not going to be in detail. Our uh, our con our concentra concentration will be Pentaho data integration. This one and this one. Uh, here I will uh, I will explain explain explain. Uh, explain introduction uh, to Pentaho uh, integration and slowly and steadily we will move to Pentaho as uh, Pentaho data integration tool then we will uh, go a little bit more granular granular level and we will understand what is uh, uh, what, what are transformation what are jobs and after this uh, I will uh, I will go for ha some hands-on so what kind of hands-on I will uh, I will uh, consider I will I will uh, I will show you transform tra transformation which converts json to csv transformation which uh, which converts csv to json csv to uh, some filtered output and csv to uh, some distinct outputs some data uh, uh, where we are we are doing some transformation and we are uh, going to uh, put uh, put that data as an uh, as, as an output right so after that there uh, one more transfer uh, transformation i will consider that is uh, something something uh, something from database i will uh, i will do some join uh, uh, join on some tables and i will provide some uh, output uh, output uh, output with respect to that join uh, join in xls file right and apart from transformation there is one more important uh, component i will consider that is job so in job I will run all the transform all these three transformation through one job. After that, uh, it is obvious question that I'm uh, uh, if I I am able to run all this transformation and jobs uh, from uh, from PDI tool that is Peta, uh, Pentaho data integration tool. Are you able to run uh, this thing through Java? Yes, we can run, and I will show uh, show you uh, uh, in the last hands-on uh, uh, slides. Right now. Uh, now, uh, nowadays cloud is everything uh, so far as I, uh, IT, uh, IT world is concerned. So how Pentaho uh, deals with cloud? So that also I will explain in brief. Strength or uh, strength and opportunity also it is required to discuss because anyway uh, whether we need to adopt or we, we need to uh, we need to um, uh, reject that depends on these two parameter only. We will uh, we'll see what Gartner says with respect to PD, uh, PDI. Some business case we will uh, we will understand that where where and all we can uh, we can consider Pentaho data integration uh, to uh, achieve achieve our goals. And obviously there are and there are some free, uh, few trivia's are there, uh, which uh, we, which we should understand or we should have something in uh, mind um, mind before we uh, conclude the conclude the session. Right? Okay. Okay, so now what is Pentaho? Penta, uh, Penta is a, one of the tool uh, tool uh, tool from uh, uh, business intelligence intelligence software that is BI suite of Pentaho. Pentaho it consists of uh, 
uh, uh, it consists of set of tools. Uh, so PDI is a tool, but it is, uh, Pento is a whole universe which contains different different tools, and uh, it provides a solution with respect to BI. Uh, BI. So, what kind of solution? Uh, solution: data integration, reporting, data mining, in, uh, information bro, um, dashboard, OLAP services, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There are many more, but I think uh, these are the few which we can discuss to, uh, today. Uh, today. So, uh, let us get idea about uh, this solution in brief. Data integration. D data integration. Uh, uh, this is the this is a purely an ETL, ETL tool ETL, ETL tool uh, earlier it is known as a uh, known as cattle and it uh, it contains uh, it cont uh, it uh, contains uh, GUI to uh, to develop and to run the jobs and uh, jobs and transform transformation it supports deployment on a single node computer as well uh, so far as cl uh, cloud or cl cluster is uh, cluster is concerned we'll understand this thing uh, in detail in uh, com uh, in uh, coming slides reporting solution so uh, uh, pento uh, pento uh, provide uh, three tools with respect to re reporting solution one is uh, pento report designer another one is pento reporting engine a third one is pento bi server so uh, so what is uh, report designer report de designer will gi uh, will give you the give you the tool which can develop uh, uh, which can develop uh, pixel perfect uh, reports uh, report uh, reports uh, and it is uh, you can say it, uh, you, uh, it's it's kind of drag and drop and drop approach uh, they have uh, they have followed what is reporting engine reporting engine uh, reporting engine is the core core of, uh, core of uh, report uh, reporting uh, tool of pentaho which runs uh, uh, which runs uh, runs uh, runs the rep uh, report and it uh, helps to deliver the rep uh, report bi server bi server may uh, provides the web application which helps helps to manage the reports manage as well as sharing uh, sh sharing the reports data mining okay so i think we are we are aware of uh, data mining what exactly data mining it helps extracting information from given data uh, data set to identify trends uh, patterns and useful data it's something uh, so something helps to uh, uh, helps to uh, create some output which helps to may uh, uh, make decision uh, with respect to the business and all those stuff right right uh, right and so far as data mining is concerned uh, the uh, standard steps are uh, business understanding data understanding uh, uh, basic data uh, data prepare, uh, preparation cre creation of uh, um, models and evaluation so those are the standard step followed in uh, in data mining so far as penta penta uh, is concerned penta is ba based on vika vika um, vika project and vika project is not only uh, providing the classical way of data mining but it uh, it has uh, it has a machine learning approach also where evaluation can be done uh, done through uh, through machine learning and it evolve by its own with respect to the quality of analysis uh, is concerned concern. information dashboard <laughs> so info, so far as info, information dashboard and dashboard is uh, dashboard is concerned Obviously, we it's 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 very easy to understand what exactly the information dashboard. It renders it renders charts charts with respect to whether it's a bar chart, whether pie chart, whether whether line chart, anything. And it also have a tabular representation and text. This this helps to understand the state of business at particular point of time as well as it provides the what if scenario also so what is what if scenario what if scenarios uh, what if scenario uh, are the condition which sometimes user or uh, business analyst wants to understand that what if some uh, something is different than uh, this so those uh, those kind of scenarios are uh, also available with respect to that and dashboard uh, is generally uh, useful with respect to um, uh, with respect to understanding the key performance indicator and that helps to uh, uh, that helps to understand the business that helps to understand to handle the risk with respect to the bid uh, business let us go to next now ola ola so OLAP, uh, OLAP uh, so far as uh, acronym is concerned it's uh, online analytical processing and 
sorry uh, and mondarian mondarian is the solution uh, which pentaho uh, pentaho has uh, adopted and it is uh, uh, it execute queries written in mdx uh, mdx so all so far as olex part is concerned uh, it uh, it is something uh, something more uh, more uh, uh, more connected whether it's a dynamic uh, dimension it's affectable or uh, whatever whatever the term terminology you are considering uh, with respect to data warehousing even cube dimension factable all those things so uh, through this mondarian mondarian olap services of Pen, uh, penta penta home you can uh, you can uh, uh, roll up you can drill down you can slice and dice you can uh, uh, you can deal with the period so any kind of uh, any kind of uh, uh, what you can say an analy analytical analytical output you want to uh, want to consider you can do through this olap services uh, olap services that is of mondarian from pentaho okay. ah, so how many of you are aware of this logo like are you able to raise the hand with respect to this logo if you can ident identify this logo oh there are two guys anyone else i think this is very oh people are knowing this logo okay so what is this logo are you aware of this thing yeah people knows this logo also this one Oh, people knows this logo as well great this logo oh, no one knows this logo fantastic this is the right state for me because uh, this is nothing but this logo of pentao data integration so this uh, i can understand that now today whatever we are going to uh, uh, learn we are going to learn new only so this logo is logo for pentao data integration now let us understand what is pentaho data integration as i mentioned earlier pentaho data integration is an etl tool it is open source which can be downloaded through this mentioned url any uh, so anyone can go and you, uh, you anyone can download and it is available for mac linux as well as windows just download the zip and you uh, you can use pentaho now so far as uh, capability part is uh, uh, concerned pento provide almost no code development approach why i am mentioning almost over here why this ad uh, adjective is uh, mentioned because uh, there are a lot of software developer uh, who uh, who believes uh, who has my kind of psychology they don't consider if they don't code then that means there is no development even i am considering uh, uh, also though i am uh, uh, adam sera of uh, i am developer of adam era so in pentaho there are uh, some steps available through what you can uh, you can develop uh, you can consider your java code you can consider your sql code you can consider javascript code uh, and you can just uh, uh, just inject that step in your transformation and you can use that code so uh, there are scenario when uh, you uh, it is difficult to implement business scenario directly through uh, uh, through uh, pentaho data integration tool so in that scenario you can write your own java code you can write your uh, business uh, uh, business requirement in javascript even sql is also fine and you can just uh, consider that code and just uh, uh, and just start using that uh, uh, that functionality uh, functionality within uh, within the transformation yes one more thing platform independence so i i think uh, after after java this terminology is ve uh, very significant with respect to platform independence so whether it is mac whether it's linux whether it is uh, windows both pdi tool as well as uh, uh, pdi artifact they both are a platform independent that means you can develop in any uh, in any uh, environment and you can run it uh, uh, run those uh, transformation or job in any environment uh, now if we are uh, talking about uh, etl tool 
ETL tool is always con uh, 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 always considered with respect to its cap capacity to deal with uh, uh, the quantity of data which it can deal. Uh, whether it's Informatica, whether uh, it's Ab Initio, Talent, whichever, they always uh, they always market uh, their tool with respect to the capacity of size, what it can do, now uh, what what it can deal. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, so far as my experience is concerned, hundreds of GBs of data. I think uh, there is no no challenge uh, no challenge uh, for Pentaho. And uh, uh, even I personally, I have uh, I have deal with uh, hundreds of GB of data. And in some scenario, you can handle even TBs of data uh, also. And there is no chill and uh, chilling. And there is one feature of, uh, of Pentaho that is part partitioning feature uh, uh, feature that will uh, that will uh, cre uh, create uh, that that will create multi multi threading kind of uh, uh, kind of implementation so it segments the data in pieces and start processing in parallel so the, uh, this approach of pdi will multiply the capacity of handling the data and uh, this uh, this is something which is really really helpful when you are uh, you are dealing with huge data warehouse huh now big data so i think uh, so far as informatica ab initio and talent part is concerned they have some limitation with respect to dealing with big data pdi so far as pdi is concerned it supports euro uh, euro format it supports cassandra it supports uh, edge base it supports hadoop it supports map reduce it supports mongodb it supports orc so orc format so I think uh, de uh, dealing with any kind of big data, uh, Penta Pentao can uh, Penta can read read data from uh, any of big data, whether Hadoop or anything else, and it can uh, it can inject to uh, big data also. So dealing with big big data, I don't think any uh, challenge uh, there is any challenge with PDI. Huh. Now uh, nowadays most of the things are happening with web services and all those stuff. Uh, they, uh, 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 so in that scenario, uh, PDI, PDI is uh, comfortable uh, comfortable with HTTP client or uh, HTTP protocol and with uh, or REST client. So they, uh, just drag and drop, and you can uh, you configure the REST uh, uh, HTTP or REST client. You are good to go. That. <sighs> so now one more thing uh, obviously i'm i'm saying uh, pentao data integration pentao data data integration so what exactly if you want to move towards uh, to understand towards the tool what exactly it is so generally there are uh, the uh, five terminology you will uh, you will hurt uh, frequently so far as pentao data integration uh, part is concerned first one is spoon second one is kitchen Third one is pan, fourth one is kate, fifth one is cattle. So I think you people, uh, you people must be thinking that oh, what, uh, uh, what Abhigya is mentioning. This is something weird. So I think it is not weird because around 25 years back when we heard Java, we never felt uncomfortable uh, because Java is also related to something like kitchen, kettle, and pan, right? Right. So now let us understand what exactly the, these individual components are. Spoon. Spoon is a de is a desktop applica application uh, which helps to create the transformation so uh, transformation and jobs uh, with the help of steps and uh, steps we are saying or with the help of ta uh, tasks it's a it's a it's a GUI, a GUI basically uh, it's a GUI of PDI, uh, PDI. and uh, spoon is uh, uh, spoon is the component through uh, which uh, uh, with what developers interacts a lot right that is one thing now kitchen kitchen orchestration of job as well as running the job that uh, that is getting handled by kitchen uh, kitchen uh, kitchen and this kitchen is also configured with spoon so that through gui itself we can run uh, we, we can run the uh, run the transformation and uh, and uh, and jobs pen uh, the way kitchen is responsible to run and orchestrate the jobs Pen is responsible to run uh, the transform uh, transformation. So spoon is connected with kitchen. Spoon is connected with pen, and it is uh, uh, it is 
it uh, this kitchen and pan will help spoon to run jobs and transformation okay uh, Carte is set up, set up dedicated remote PDI server so you can coordinate job across the collection of cluster uh, cluster of computer and execute transforming within a cluster so this is something uh, which can help uh, when you uh, you deal with uh, a cloud infrastructure or distributed system so Carte will play its role over there now kettle I think uh, when uh, so far as uh, whenever you heard about kettle, I think uh, for me, I uh, I remember GNU. So uh, the full form of GNU is GNU is not the Unix. So it's kind of recursive. So same way, uh, kettle is. So uh, the full form of kettle is kettle extraction, transformation, transport, load environment. So but now uh, it is known as Pentaho data integration tool. Because I, uh, in 2004, uh, Pentaho had ac uh, acquired Kettle, and uh, uh, after, uh, since then, uh, Kettle is known as uh, Pentaho Data Integration Tool. But still, uh, what is Kettle? Kettle is actually everything. Everything. The complete environment is called Kettle. Right? So it is not uh, one slice of this uh, uh, this circle, but it is everything. It is complete environment. Okay, great. I hope uh, things are going good uh, with respect to the understanding and rendering the session. If any doubt, you can anyone uh, please raise the question. Okay. So no, no one is there. So let let us move further. So now let us understand Pentaho data integration as a tool. As I mentioned earlier, you can download uh, PDI from this location. So when uh, when you will uh, reach to uh, reach to this location, you will find this kind of uh, uh, page, and it by default it will download the latest version. Latest version. Currently, it is 9.2 uh, something. It is going on. Uh, and if you want to uh, download some uh, historical version uh, uh, earlier than the latest, then you can uh, go to the files and you can get uh, uh, get the version. Yes, and so uh, home. Uh, so for example, let us consider I want to download 9.2. So just go to the 9. Point, uh, pick the 9.2 version and go to the client tool, and you need to download this zip file. And it is uh, this uh, this zip, uh, zip uh, file you can consider uh, by default you will consider that oh it is a uh, uh, maximum download uh, occurs with respect to that file right so you download this zip file so once you download this zip file just extract this zip file and it is huge file right 1.9 GB file so once you extract this zip file you will find similar to this structure. Right. So uh, as of now, you are you are not seeing any SL, uh, shell uh, shell script over here uh, because I have deleted all the shell script. I'm uh, I'm running uh, PDI on uh, Windows platform. So if you if you uh, if you if you are used uh, if you are used to go uh, if you are uh, if you love to go to Linux or Unix environment. Then in that scenario, you need to run shell uh, shell script, and those shell script uh, will be there along with this patch file, right? Right. And uh, uh, to load the Pentaho data integration, you need to uh, execute this spoon dot bat file. But prior to that, the basic requisite to run the Pentaho data integration is the availability of Java in your system. So, uh, so far as this uh, 8.3 version is concerned, it requires Java 8, and I have uh, I have config uh, I have Java 1.8 in my machine. So it will not give any issue to me, right? So once you execute this spoon dot bad, you will find this kind of screen around around after one minute because first time it will take some uh, it, it takes uh, when you click first time it will take time to load uh, and uh, once you uh, go uh, once you use it for three four times then slowly and uh, slowly and steadily it reduce uh, time for loading so you will see this <clears throat> screen after 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 sometimes this screen will be di uh, uh, will disappear and you will find this ui 
most simple UI. There is no complication in UI, and you will find this page in front of you, right? What is what next? Now next is we need to uh, uh, we need to understand what uh, uh, what are there in this tool which you uh, which we are going to deal with. First one is transformation macroscopically. Second one is job. If you uh, go from top to uh, top to bottom. So wh what are the transformation? Transformation is you can say collection of tasks and they are connected with uh, with each other and they are, and they gets executed one by either one by one or in parallel. So steps contain uh, cons contain some kind of uh, some kind of uh, logic or some kind of um, uh, manipulation with respect to data and data. So in GUI you must be eager that okay I'm uh, whatever I'm mentioning I'm, I'm mentioning mentioning verbally how it should look like so it should look like this so you can see um, uh, fr uh, from left side there uh, there is one step mysql user another is postgres uh, postgres user second st uh, step join by email third one is csv output right so uh, from extreme le left they are the input and the data is getting fetched from database uh, in between there uh, uh, there is one step which joins on the email and eventually it uh, uh, it uh, generates the csv file as an output so as i mentioned this uh, uh, the highlighted uh, highlighted uh, box uh, they are the steps or tasks and uh, this can be this can be created just drag and drop drag, drop activity i will explain in uh, coming uh, coming slides now second part is job what is job <clears throat> job job aggregates individual piece of functionality just a minute okay it aggregates uh, individual piece of functionality so what is piece uh, this piece of functionality it can be anything it can be a transformation it can be job itself as well as uh, uh, there are some standard steps are also which you can consider as a part of job whether creation of folder whether uh, whether uh, compression of folder or file or something kind of so those uh, all those uh, 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 pieces uh, can be aggregated through job so again your second question comes at oh, how it lo uh, how it look li looks like uh, uh, on ui so it should be like this so extreme left it gives it triggers uh, triggers the job uh, uh, uh you, you must be find one uh, one square which uh, uh, which title as a transformation it contains the reference of one transformation second one job it contains a reference to another job and once both um, this both the steps are getting and gets executed uh, sorry you uh, uh, you will uh, you will be forwarded to success and if some fails then it will it throws error but that error can be also uh, and, and, and those error can be also taken care of the way we are handling in java okay so now first transformation which i want to explain you that is i want to convert some csv uh, file to json file right so only the two steps are, are considered over here uh, over here one reading from json another one is writing to csv file so uh, so whatever you have seen you have seen as a part of slide so uh, so now uh, let me uh, uh, let me show you the pentaho tool itself let me drag i hope you are able to see right if no one is able to see then please raise the hand okay perfect perfect so uh, before i uh, demonstrate this thing uh, let me uh, let me explain you uh, the capacity of pentaho with respect to input output with respect to the uh, massaging and manipulation of data so on left hand side you are, you are saying some kind of tree structure uh, tree structure so you see this many of input can be handled through pentaho so how I have uh, created this JSON uh, JSON input? Just I went down. Are you able to see JSON input? Yes, I am able to see. This is the JSON. I have dragged over and dropped over here. 
it has reached over here after that i have just double click it and i i can find there are some things which i need to uh, define over here in ui see so what i have defined i have defined these values right i have defined the source and as a source of input json file then i have defined the fields right and this uh, once you define the source uh, so uh, uh, source file you can get the field just on the click of this select field button right just get the, uh, get uh, get it out uh, from this right so let let us understand where is the file so this is the file right i'm just adding over here right i'm removing this right okay if i want to preview let, let me check if i can show you that yeah see it can give you the preview once you define uh, define the uh, uh, json uh, json fields you can you, you will be able to see the preview right okay so let me delete this now if we uh, now with respect to the output same thing let me collapse the input let me expand the output so where, uh, where is the text file output here is the text file output drag and drop double click yes right over and i uh, i uh, so yes so here i need to define where i need to put the uh, put the output i need to define which field i need to consider and again getting field is straight away just click this buttons uh, here if there is no uh, if uh, if there is no field defined over here you can add all or add new whichever way you want to pick and if you want to uh, uh, define again just clear and add all see just yeah so this way it populates uh, populates the data right so uh, you must be thinking that okay uh, how to run that and sorry uh, how to run that and uh, what uh, what i should uh, ex uh, expect as an output so let me uh, give the demo over here okay so here we are generating output let me delete all the file files so now this is the button this is the button run i i hope you all must be seeing this button let me click this button it will give uh, this dialog box now uh, you if you want to change the log level you can change uh, the log level enable so these are the options which you uh, you can pick as per your requirement and let us run this thing just a minute so it is showing some error okay it is not finding the input stream okay this row is not there delete yeah yes i think uh, during the explanation i have made some uh, uh, some in, uh, made this inconsistent that's why it was given so if you see the uh, at right hand side you are seeing the demo uh, output json file csv so let us see what so it has generated the output is generated right i hope this is clear is there any doubt anyone can raise the hand i hope 
you all are enjoying this session. Nobody is raising hand. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. So now let us move to another transformation. Uh, this is a bit complex, right? It looks like complex. What it is uh, doing? There is one right, uh, left hand side, there is CSV file is getting uh, read, and there are three branches over here. One is right from beginning. What it does? Uh, it reads data and data, it does some operation. Uh, I mean, it makes some record unique and it provides uh, that records to some output file. After that, uh, in sec uh, second branch, it provides input to some step. After that, there are two branches uh, where the de uh, definitely data is getting separated uh, with some lo uh, logic and uh, with, with some JavaScript, I'm implementing some uh, business logic. I'm sorting with some column, co columns and I'm uh, putting this stuff in some uh, CSV file or whichever uh, comfortable output. So again, you, you must be eager to see this transformation also in Pentaho. So let me open this thing. So this is the transformation. I hope you are able to see, right? Let me know if some I, if someone is uh, having challenge in seeing this transformation. Okay. Okay, so everyone is able to see, right? So again, uh, let me explain, explain this transformation uh, again, so far as steps are concerned. This is the CSV input, same way the JSP, uh, JSON uh, input we have taken, we have considered some file as an input. After that, we have picked the column uh, column uh, co uh, column from this CSV file. How we have picked with respect to delim delimiter comma, and each data is enclosed through uh, uh, double quotes, right? And uh, so far as population is field uh, field is concerned, just get the field. Uh, just. Yeah, so just get the field and okay, no issues, I think. Ah, yeah, perfect. So it has considered 100 rows to, con uh, uh, to con uh, consider the uh, columns and on the basis of 100 rows, it has uh, created uh, column and data with respect to that. So again, CSV uh, file is considered. So let us check that whether it has read correctly or not. So let us preview the data. So let us preview only 100 records. See now it has uh, it it has read correctly, right? Okay, let me close. So uh, the to uh, topmost uh, so uh, going for the topmost branch uh, in, in topmost branch I have implemented implemented logic where I need to uh, I need to uh, do some uh, need to have some values uh, unique values of particular column. So I have consider column variable code and I want unique rows for that. And uh, and I need to put that output in text uh, text file output. So if you see field, only one column and output will be there. And uh, with uh, to dis uh, implement a distinct uh, distinct uh, functionality, we need to provide the sorted uh, input to this row. So nothing. Uh, what you are doing? We are just. Creating hop and we are putting over it. That's it. Drag even hop is getting created through drag and drop. So just we are connecting in that way. Now second functionality is that we need to uh, separate some record. On what basis? So record supposed to be separated with this value of some one uh, column. So the column is variable category and if value is financial ratio, then my target uh, target supposed to be financial uh, target step supposed to be. If, uh, financial ratio if financial position is the value of this column then i should forward this to modified javascript right so this way it will uh, it will separate out 
uh, and, and the data so if financial ratio is value so directly i need to create the xml file so xml file just again provide the output file name pro, uh, provide the fields that's it it will create the xml file now in, uh, i need to implement some business logic what is the business logic business logic is uh, like uh, business functionality is like that i need the symbol of currency also so how um, you know, how i implemented i have implemented uh, through writing some small javascript code see so if if uh, uh, there is, there are columns you can see input file uh, in good uh, column so there is unit unit if unit contains dollar then i need to provide the dollar symbol else i need to provide the percentage because there are only two uh, two units are there over here right so that way i have i wrote uh, some small code and there is one new field i have created which is visible over here so now this field will go along with uh, the input field right then again the next business functionality is i want to sort on year and units so just uh, uh, just uh, uh, pick pick the column over here if you want to add new column you can pick another column but we are not interested in that right so let us okay and output will be like over here same way uh, we uh, we want to uh, what output you want to uh, put we want to impl uh, we want to put output in json file and uh, and each uh, in json file each file is supposed to contain two, two, 2000 record if uh, after 2000 uh, penthouse should create a new file okay so let so uh, let us run this transformation you see the xml file is generated with respect to the financial ratio uh, json files are generated there must be more than 4000 records so that's why it has generated three files and one more uh, file is generated uh with respect to first branch that is a unique row so let us check what it is see variable code and only unique data is available over here right so that way now next uh example is with respect to database right? yes uh, here, here I have considered uh, one database where uh, I am considering three tables. I'm uh, and I want to uh, I I want to put some out, uh, I want to render some output to Excel file by merging all this table and to generate some logical record with respect to actor, film, and uh, actor and film, right? So uh, let, uh, let us see uh, this in PDI. So this, so what happens over here? Uh, before that, uh, before that, uh, we need to understand what, uh, how to create the connection. Con here we need to define the connection. So connection of database is getting created over here. Tool, wizard, create database connection. This is the UI through what uh, we can create uh, create the connection. These are the these are the supported database uh, database uh, with PDI. So you can consider even Hadoop highway everything means with from uh, 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 from big data to uh, uh, no SQL everything you can get over over here right now let me show you the created connection I have created this test connection yeah so it looks like this these are the parameter uh, we generally provide so far as jdbc connection is concerned and i have provided and i let me test this yeah it is successful right so uh, this way so uh, uh, so again this act as uh, let me uh, show you one uh, step with respect to input database table so again as uh, i this step is all uh, all the steps are just drag and drop if you see on oh, left hand side uh, here you can see table input you just drag over here you open it change the name whatever you want to put you put it you define whatever the sql define even you can uh, and the sql can be generated by its own also and just save it right 
that so let us open one step so this is the uh, simple vanilla sql uh, i have uh, used to fetch data from actor so let us preview the data what exactly it is it contains yes it contains actor id first name last name or last updated that way same way same way actor id film id last updated right and the film it, it contains a lot of it has a lot of column columns right so we need to uh, we need to create uh, some excel uh, file which gives relation between film actor uh, film actor and all the uh, uh, all those data so um, let me uh, let me run this uh, okay uh, so let me give you the folder view and right so uh, let uh, let us run this transformation yes we have received one excel file over here right so around uh, 1300 records we, uh, we 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 have generated so let us see what it contains actually see so yeah so there is some logical data we are getting over here right all right so in uh, so far as excel uh, uh, the output step excel is concerned again there is no uh, rocket science over here just we need to provide the output file name uh, which fields you want to consider from this flow that's it nothing else and that uh, fields are also we can populate through this get field button and it provides all the uh, fields detail right so this is the simple uh, some transformation I, I have explained you to understand how, uh, how the capacity and the ease of uh, etl development so second uh, second uh, second comp uh, macroscopic component is job so if you see this uh, see the job the, uh, you can see again start you can see some uh, uh, some squares which uh, contains the reference of transformation and uh, it ends with some dummy and uh, or success so dum uh, dummy is kept over here because if some fails then it should not uh, the whole job should not fail it should transfer to the uh, to uh, dummy dummy does nothing it's just and uh, uh, don't care condition so how to consider transformation uh, transformation so uh, oh, hold on let me okay so how to consider uh, okay so before uh, before uh, before uh, consider consideration of uh, transformation in job uh, we need to understand the artifact uh, which artifacts are getting generated through uh, through pdi when we are uh, we are saving uh, transformation or job so when you are uh, creating transformation and saving it it generates this ktr file right you can see this way so for database db2 excel uh, transformation you can uh, uh, you can uh, save this kt uh, you can have ktr file as an artifact right in case of job uh, uh, generation of job and saving the job it generates kjb file you can see this way the name is job.kjb right that way it's cool so so in this scenario uh, let us try uh, let us understand how we can consider transformation let us double click i just uh, provide the uh, name of uh, fully qualified uh, uh, name of the file and just i save it okay same for rest 2 also you see so i will demo with this by running this stuff also so so let me delete all this output right so now uh, through job we are uh, we are targeting to run all three transformation let me run that see all the files are generated right all the files are generated perfect 
i hope things are clear till now if any doubt any question i hope everyone is here physically and mentally <laughs> yeah ashwini tell me uh, let me unmute you yeah tell me the uh, join the merge join that you did in db uh, db to excel mm -hmm. yes yeah. this section mm -hmm. film id merge uh, join to film id to all this so you, what do you want to see over here uh, the configuration of merge join merge join okay. and merge join to perfect 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 so first we need to understand what are the columns over here actor id first name last name and last updated uh, film actor uh, actor id uh, film id last updated uh, and uh, last updated so there are three columns only right so let us see uh, see what uh, uh, what is in merge join so okay so any join if you go in pentaho any join again it requires some uh, sorted input so so prior to join i have uh, in consider one uh, one step which is uh, uh, which is uh, uh, which is responsible to sort the data with respect to the field what we are considering for joining so let us so we have consider actor id for join so we have uh, we have uh, we have sorted that field over here right in through this same way from uh, film actor table we are sorting on same actor right right so so the whatever the input merge join will uh, get it will get uh, get sorted uh, on actor id on both the sorry so now let us let us open this um, um, merge step so here you can see the input uh, input input for uh, in, input for this step is first step is sort actor id 1 and second one is sort actor id 2 what we are going to do we are going to do inner join there are other joins are also left outer join right outer join full outer join right but we we want we have consider inner join right so uh, so from uh, from steps uh, sort actor 1 id we have picked actor id right and from here we have picked uh, again actor id to come there right okay so here uh, you, uh, over here also there are two buttons uh, provided get key fields in both the side once you click this uh, uh, cl click uh, this button all the columns will be populated over here all the columns right it will give you cl clear and add all so we don't want to consider that so let us uh, say that uh, let us cancel this thing right so this way it will give output of this two uh, two table uh, it will give you the join of this two to, uh, table and it will uh, it will move further to this step what is this step again sort why sort because again uh, uh, this merge needs sorted data on uh, film id uh, why film id because we are going to consider uh, consider join on film id at the uh, in uh, for, uh, for from the both the table so again uh, from the uh, film table we need to uh, we need to sort on film id also i have uh, i have uh, put alias as a film underscore film id so that we can understand different uh, differently both the right and we can uh, we can distinguish in output over here when we are considering field over here right over here right, right. so this way uh, i i have implemented two join and i have created output in uh, by considering this field first name last name title uh, uh, description language id and all those stuff uh, all those stuff uh, this data can be useful for any user right so this way i have implemented so ashwini is there any further doubt you have or it is good sorry uh, let me unmute you i am unable to unmute you uh, yeah yes. yeah this is clear yeah thank you it's clear okay yeah fine uh, job part is also uh, uh, clear right 
yeah so uh, uh, now we are going further with respect to uh, running transformation through java right so obviously why this is important it is important because when we are going to deploy we cannot deploy the tool over here uh, I'm to spoon and uh, and it should uh, this uh, this should be run through some application or some kind of uh, some kind of uh, 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 some kind of uh, uh, rest call or something or some kind of scheduler right so tool uh, tool is not the right thing to deploy on production environment and uh, just go and click and run that is not the right solution so right solution is uh, implement uh, implement in such a way so that any scheduler can pick uh, uh, pick the job and run any uh, uh, any any other application can pick and run as and when require so for that uh, we can uh, for that Pentaho had provided uh, provided approach to run uh, uh, run this transformation and jobs through Java through shell script through command uh, uh, command line but uh, for the session let us consider through Java so running transformation through Java this is the simple code uh, code of uh, running Java you can see I think hardly how many one two three four five five lines are there uh, uh, which we we need to code to run the run the Java but uh, condition is that uh, you need to uh, include the dependencies and all the dependencies are available in lib folder of this PDI tool. You, you, uh, you, uh, you pick the dependency and uh, you consider the dependency and uh, run, uh, run the transformation. Now again, what about job? Running job again java can do that and this is the simple code and same number of line one two three four five five uh, five through uh, you can uh, write the five lines and you just uh, run, uh, run the job and here you are seeing repository so you can you can provide provide the reference to repository also and you can uh, you can uh, run the job run the job so okay let us uh, go some hands-on right so where is my eclipse eclipse is over here This is Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Running transformation. Where mm -hmm. is the output folder? This is, again, let me delete all the file. Right. So I'm I'm running uh, DB2 XL XLS KTR from uh, this Java code. So uh, as I mentioned when you are creating transformation there is a ktr file ktr file is nothing but it's uh, it's kind of, it's a, a xml file if you want to see i can show you the ktr file uh, db2 xml this is file let me open it see this is simple xml file right perfect so i i have just provide, uh, provided the path of that this ktr file and let me run this you will find some error, but it is not related to uh, Pentaor. It is something SSL related, but ignore that. Right? Yeah, so are you able to see this file is created? Perfect. So this is an uh, error are not related to uh, something Pentaor. It is some SSL because I'm connecting to database, right? Right. So, uh, is this uh, good for you guys? Any doubt? Okay, and uh, let us move further. So, with respect to job, uh, jo again, uh, uh, let uh, let me run this job through Java code. But before that, I need to disable to transformation in Pentaho one is this and another one is this because i haven't included json dependency right and let me save this right So again, same way here need to uh, provide the uh, path of 
KJB file because it is job. I able to see. Right. So this demo file is created. Right. So this is the way how we can run jobs and, and transformation through Java. Even uh, uh, Pento is comfortable with shell script also. Pento is comfortable uh, uh, through uh, uh, through command line also. So it depends on your deployment plan how you want to run this uh, this uh, transformation and jobs, right? And again, so, uh, so far as any business logic changes or some requirement change, changes, just you need to uh, you need to uh, uh, update the transformation through KTR, uh, KTR and job from KJB, and just you need to copy only these two XML files. That's it. There is no further uh, changes required in deployment if any change request is there. So this is something very easy uh, easy management with respect to deployment and support to changes. Right. Okay, what about cloud? So we we already understood the uh, artifacts are KJB and KT, KTR and that can be run through Java code, shell script, command line, uh, command line. So there is no challenge of dip, uh, uh, in deployment of such artifact on any cloud infrastructure. So if we can uh, if we can run any Java application on cloud, we can run Pentaho artifacts also from cloud. The only thing is that our deployment supposed to be uh, supposed to be with the dependency. So if you uh, if you are if you are uh, if you if you want to do some uh, DB operation, we need to have uh, drivers with respect to that. If you want to run uh, do some JSON uh, JSON uh, operation, we need to have uh, JSON dependency uh, deployed on that. So this is the only thing required. Apart from nothing is required. It can run uh, same as the other Java application runs. And if uh, if it is similar to uh, if, if if it is similar uh, if it runs similar to Java application, then there is no challenge uh, challenge in uh, complying uh, Penta Penta artifact with respect to 12 factor app. Whether you want to kick it uh, kick it from uh, kick it uh, uh, any transformation or job through uh, race, uh, web, web services or any other uh, scheduler it it straight away support uh, 12 factor apps so it is a cloud uh, uh, cloud supporting um, a tool yeah okay so uh, there is some uh, uh, url i am uh, mentioning over here uh, which can give you more insight with respect to uh, uh, cloud uh, and multi data uh, multi data con uh, 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 multi data uh, integration uh, integration okay so there is new terminology uh, i am mentioning over here lumada data ops suit uh, suit uh, is built with pentaho this is a new uh, new terminology i am mentioning this is uh, this is the enterprise uh, enterprise version of pentaho data integration from uh, from hitachi Hitachi and it is uh, means uh, it can uh, it is completely in line with the cloud implement implementation complete um, and uh, with respect to data lakes with respect to dat any database or with respect to any kind of orchestration uh, uh, you can manage this thing from this Lumra data offsuit and again knowledge base you can find knowledge base from this URL now with respect to aws and azure there is one knowledge base available uh, from this url you uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can simply go to this url and you can find how we can deal uh, pdi on ws and azure as well now strength and opportunity and uh, this is the uh, these are the two uh, two parameter where adoption or rejection happens to any tool any tool so st strength i have listed all opportunity i have listed uh, listed some so strength open source free of cost uh, cost uh, penta uh, open community has uh, open community has support with respect uh, with respect to uh, 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 what you can say uh, issue, issue management uh, issue handling or 
you can say help or support kind of activity and enterprise addition is also there but you can uh, you can avoid that licensing fee if you go to the open source and uh, the uh, the biggest thing is that pento kettle has very low learning power just open the uh, kettle and just uh, do some drag and drop activity and you will learn the pento uh, pento data integration Gra uh, uh, graph uh, gui i have shown you it's a very simple gui which you uh, which you can deal there is no confusion there is no uh, uh, you will not find anything something uh, uh, something which you need to search just Two three click and you you will you will reach the uh, reach uh, reach uh, reach, uh, reach the place where, uh, of your interest. <clears throat> yes, I think so far as data capacity is concerned, I have already mentioned it can uh, handle uh, hundreds of gigas and some scenario even terabytes of data can also be uh, uh, handled. Scalability cloud ready, it is there. PDI is able to cluster and scale out handle huge data set. So it is. Uh, it is there so scalability is not at all issue uh, with respect to the penta home as i mentioned there are partitioning uh, feature is available where you can split the data uh, in multiple uh, multiple chunks and you can uh, you can run the parallel thread and you can multiply the performance uh, again suitable for complex analytics uh, analytics use case so yeah it, and, and any complexity it can handle and and uh, those are the uh, uh, strength opportunity again there are uh, no nothing is without any uh, 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 everything has some lacking uh, lackings also so again it is not popular so there are not so many people who knows how to use the pentaho so uh, so that is the problem and that's why i think uh, when we have uh, asked that how many people knows pentao most of the people are i think all all were not aware of pentao so that that is a problem with pentao see so far as PD, pentaho or data integration is concerned it is open source it is getting developed at uh, in open open world uh, uh, approach so there are some uh, uh, some steps or some tasks which we drag and drag and you will face some issue in open source uh, version but in enterprise edition that issue is also getting resolved so in open sense you will find some uh, some uh, steps or some inputs uh, inputs or some outputs which gives you little problem but uh, but it is always recommended if you if you if you use some uh, uh, some uh, one or two version prior then you will find rob uh, robust implementation of uh, steps which you want to use ha huh. speed at which some trouble issues get resolved could be improved this is with respect to support acti activity so again if you are using open source uh, obviously you will get slow re response because you need to put uh, put your issue in forum the forum is very active and very huge but again it takes time but again if you if you go to the enterprise edition and if you buy support then the uh, um, professionals are our in, uh, will get involved and it will it will give you in right uh, uh, in uh, within right slm there is one problem which even i am facing the way pentaho uh, ui particularly uh, ui throws the error if something uh, something is wrong then sometimes it is difficult to understand the error but once you are hands on once you are practice then uh, you will be able to understand the, those errors also but for beginners yes understanding error sometimes it is challenging this is something with respect to gartner because uh, most of the management goes to gartner to understand that how good uh, what is the rating at gartner um, with respect to different different parameter then according to gartner this is the rating evaluation and contracting 4.1 out of 5 integration and deployment 4.3 out of 5 service and support 4.2 out of 5 product capability 4.4 out uh, out of 5 so i think it is pretty good uh, without any dispute what i understand and uh, and all this uh, all this parameter you can you can uh, you can get more uh, granular uh, information on gartner site which i have mentioned above so each and every uh, parameter uh, have more granular detail on this uh, uh, at this location if you um, if you are interested interested you go and just check that use cases 
so this is ETL tool. So what kind of use cases we can handle? So one scenario is migra migrating data into data warehouse or Hadoop or vice or versa. So in that uh, in this scenario, what kind of business we can entertain? Historic data of financial institution, government agencies, healthcare data. <coughs> those are uh, those are the business who who holds huge data and who requires to manage data warehouse because end of the eventually they want to go uh, all up and they want to generate right dashboard with respect to the analysis and their business enhancement or some improvement in their approaches right so uh, this uh, these are the few business uh, where uh, we have mig migration of data to warehouse and hadoop kind of what other syncing of records in multiple system this is again uh, this is very common requirement for so many business airline booking uh, courier company security agency credit card business so these are the business we are uh, very uh, periodic uh, syncing is required sometimes hourly basis some uh, sometimes daily basis or at uh, some uh, in some scenario at weekend some syncing happen so uh, this is again a very good uh, uh, very uh, uh, this business also holds very good use cases with respect to syncing data creating a sales and marketing marketing dashboard so again uh, for marketing dashboard again uh, again we, uh, we need to have some some kind of dimension some kind of facts table some kind of uh, cubes uh, ready so PDI provides uh, provides such kind of out, uh, out output so that right dashboard can be created whether uh, whether it's uh, it is sales or whether it's marketing or whether for some other uh, analytic so uh, uh, so FM uh, so far as FMCG business is uh, concerned I think it, it it can give you a very good use case uh, with respect to sales marketing and profitability of business consuming data from partners again FM uh, I, I think without discussion we can say that FMCG can be uh, can be considered as a very good candidate because we uh, in FF, FMCG we need to read the, read the inventory we need to read the orders from other sources and uh, other sources and other databases so again FMCG is again a good candidate there are a lot of other businesses also but this is something which we can imagine imagine very easily so these are the few use cases out of uh, out of uh, so many to understand the uh, understand the uh, understand the business uh, capability business solution and business problem solving cap capacity of pentaho few tri trivias uh, few trivia so what are those yes uh, where is the headquarter orlando usa who found and when went off uh, in 2004 and this four uh, four chaps has uh, uh, found uh, they are the founders of this pentaho now in 2015 hitachi data system has acquired pentaho in 2017 it become pass, um, part of hitachi ventara now Lum uh, lumara data integration is pentaho data integration enter enterprise version of pentaho data integration from hitachi ventara official website for uh, pentaho is now this one right yes i am done from mine now me or ravindra can attend your all the questions uh, q and a questions and answers if any question please raise hand if you have any question no it looks it looks like uh, session has gone well uh thank you everyone there are questions oh is it uh, there are oh. yeah, yeah. yeah see the questions uh, uh one is uh question is uh, ah, gulson yeah. what is the few, uh, okay so uh, let me unmute gulson right uh -huh. okay gulson uh so your question uh, your question is what is the future of pentaho right Wilson, are you able to hear me? Hello. Yeah, Wilson, can you hear us? Please raise hand if you are able to hear us. We are not able to hear you. 
maybe bigya you can take opportunity to answer that question okay so uh in fact i'm not talking about future even if you consider uh, consider present also Pent, uh, pentaho is getting used by so many big uh, big companies and uh, so so far as my experience part is concerned uh, uh, i work in jp morgan and barclay both organization were using uh, using uh, pentaho pentaho and 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 uh, there uh, and in fact in jp morgan pentaho was considered as a strategic to, uh, tool when i was there for entire organization and and they were processing even uh, hundreds of gb of data through this pentaho now uh, where all in market it is implemented i think uh, it is not visible uh, visible to the world but huge uh, means so many air, uh, airlines are using pentaho uh, pentaho so many finance uh, organization is using pentaho the problem with us is that we are not aware of that so uh, i'm uh, if we ignore future even present is very very strong with uh, strong with pentaho and people slowly and steadily people are uh, uh, getting aware of pentaho and they have started uh, um, uh, adopting the pentaho tool uh, pentaho tool and that's why hitachi ventara is doing really good with respect to business so far as pentaho support uh, support part is concerned and they are earning a lot of money through pentaho is that the answer you are looking gulson yes yes yeah uh, finally we got your voice <laughs> yeah thank you yeah uh, you're welcome okay anything else A any other question yeah shwini uh, let me unmute you Why unable to? Uh, I'm unable to unmute you. Okay. Ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the use case that you explained. Uh, you not the use case, but the example code that you explained. There was a mm -hmm. join by email. So mm -hmm. does that refer to joining the data over email or the merge join that you explained in the later mm -hmm. places? Uh, just. Uh, uh, here right are you able to see my screen uh i think it's the first one uh, this uh, one. uh not the merge join it is joined by email in the presentation i believe it is there in the presentation okay 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 um, it, okay, okay. Uh, it's a present it is in presentation just a minute let me open that for a minute okay you are talking about this right so this is and uh, see this is uh, this is not something which i am uh, implemented this is something which i just want to show you that okay uh, 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 transformation looks like this it might it may run or it may not run it may not run because uh, when i uh, render this slide in front of you at that point of time you you are not aware of what exactly the transformation is so simply i have uh, uh, provided some view of transformation so this is not something which is running uh, which is uh, which i can say it is running or it is not running this is just an example to show how it looks like nothing else so don't take this uh, uh, this slide uh, this image seriously thank you right yeah any other questions uh, what last one question uh... mm -hmm. yeah sure just... yeah uh, what, the difference you used it uh, you in the example you showed us with the uh, transformation ktr and then kjb right mm -hmm. both were one and this, uh, it, it produced same output am i right uh, okay hold on just a minute in that case 
so i just wanted uh-huh. to understand what is the difference okay 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 so i think uh, okay see <clears throat> this is transformation right this is transformation 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 is something uh, uh, which starts uh, from some input and it ends some output right and it uh, does some some uh, uh, some manipulation of and massaging of data right right so, or uh, it does uh, uh, it uh, uh, it implements some utility it uh, implements some business logic and uh, eventually it yields some output right so suppose uh, there are uh, there are 15 transformation trans- transformation you have developed but one transformation is depend uh, is dependent on another and uh, after that there are two transformations supposed to run in parallel so this kind of this kind of implementation can be uh, can be done through jobs right over here right it can be done through here so uh, if uh, let me delete uh, this thing so for example uh, let me create uh, add one over here let me put over here uh, right now uh, for example if, uh, suppose uh, after csv json i need to uh, run db2 xls right okay then i need to uh, consider it as finish right so now uh, so this kind of implemented so see th- there are so many business functionality that can uh, that can be depend on uh, each other some functionality requires to be run prior or some requires functionality requires to wait uh, wait till uh, the particular functionality overs so those kind of combination uh, combination can be implemented through job right while transform transformation is something which cannot uh, orchestrate all those things right once you uh, once you kick the transformation it reads the data and it's write the data and it does something in between that's over right whether uh, so uh, so uh, so uh, uh, so uh, orchestration of trans- transformation can be done over here right is that clear yeah yeah okay so uh, so if it is job and uh, then uh, the kgb file and if it is transformation then it is ktr file that's it and both are xml file yeah perfect yeah perfect yes yeah thanks any other oh uh, yeah <laughs> how do in java we could import and uh, import this uh, pento Sorry. okay so okay yeah. uh, uh, how do we do it in uh, normal shell how do we yes uh, uh, and so for a shell script con- uh, is concerned i uh, depend so uh, you need uh, you need to set the uh, you need to export uh, the path for uh, these jar files if there is in linux i think you need to ex- export some path so that it will be available in that environment right yes yes yeah okay. so that kind of ap- approach you need to implement okay uh, it would be the kt uh, the yeah. these job files and the transformation file we can export ha, yeah yeah right? so see artifacts will remain in all the environment whether it is mac whether it's uh, linux or whether it is uh, windows so they they will remain either ktr or kjb that's it so you need to consider uh, uh, see uh, the way you are using normal xml file in your code same way you need to re- uh, consider this ktr and kjb file that's it okay Yeah awesome yeah. thank you perfect thank you any further question yeah all right so if there are no more question thank you abhigya for such a nice hands on session uh, i really enjoyed it i hope attendees have also enjoyed it
thank you everyone for taking out time from your busy schedules i know it's very late if you are joining from india uh, but i'm sure that you must have learned something new today for sure uh, if you have any requirement on penta or any business problem which you uh, feel like that can be solved with penta please feel feel to uh, reach out to nolda's team we will be more than happy to assist you we provide high quality penta services across the globe and thank you everyone for joining in uh, have a wonderful night if you are in india and have a wonderful day if you are in us thanks thank you yeah thank you